These spectacular carbon revolution carbon fiber wheels are now hitting the aftermarket. Although these wheels are very sophisticated in construction, with due care they can be serviced on most mid-grade and higher tire changers. This video will demonstrate some of the techniques and points of care to avoid cosmetically damaging these robust yet expensive wheels. When using a center style tire changer, you'll need to position the lug hole onto the drive pin, as you see there. It's imperative to drive the wheel through the lug hole, not through any of the cavities that may be on the back of the hub. When clamping one of the uh, carbon fiber wheels, you wanna make sure you use the correct clamping cone and make sure there's protection for the center hole. The center hole is strong enough to clamp in this manner, but you do need to have protection for cosmetic reasons. Most center clamp style tire changers will use bead loosening rollers like shown here. These are very gentle on the tire and uh, they present very little risk to the rim, but as always, you wanna use care. You need to be away from the rim edge a little bit so that when you lower the uh, roller down, there's a gap but don't make it too much of a gap because you need to be able to allow the roller to indent and bead loosen properly. So just a little bit of time and care will place the rollers properly. So when you're about to demount the top bead with the carbon fiber wheel, again, we're paying particular attention to cosmetic damage risk. Good idea to clean off the mount head. So just in case you have any rust from the steel wheel you just serviced that might have been impregnated in the head, you remove that. When we position the mount demount head for removal, be sure to raise the head enough that we create a gap between the wheel face and the head. This will prevent any scratching to the face of the rim. When using a conventional tire changer, the same rules apply. Make sure you clean the mount head, position it on the rim such that it does not ride on the rim face. And when you use the conventional lever, be sure to use some form of protection. When bottom B demounting with the roller base system, make sure you go high enough above the rim face that when we indent, we're not touching that rim face and risking scratching. So when you're doing your top bead mounting, you again need to place the mount head high enough that you don't have a risk of scratching the rim face and you also want to use a cleaned mount head, just like we did for demounting. Of course, with automated equipment like the Revolution, these things are handled automatically. If servicing on tabletop style tire changers, different techniques are required. When bead loosening on side shovel style changers, we need to use extreme care not to contact the rim face. Plastic protections for your side shovel should be considered mandatory. When clamping the wheel on tabletop changers, be sure to use plastic protection, preferably plastic protection with high grip capabilities so that the wheel doesn't slip. And the wheel has to be clamped externally. There is no internal clamping allowed on carbon fiber wheels. When top B demounting, again, we wanna make sure that we clean the mount head face and use care 
about where we place that mount head relative to the wheel. So as we bring it in and place it, use care and make sure an offset is built in so that the head is not contacting the wheel during service. When using a conventional levered machine, again, place the mount head uh, above the rim face. Be sure to make the adjustments so that you're not running, the mount head is not running on the rim edge and use a lever again with protection. When bottom bead demounting, make sure you don't have any of your tools, whether it be a lever or a roller, contact the rim face. On top bead mounting, placement of the head in relation to the wheel, again, leaving a gap, is vitally important. Also, be sure to use any and all available press tools. These will always be high performance tires on these carbon fiber wheels. And if you use the press arms, the likelihood of damage is much lower than trying to simply mount with bars. As you can see, Carbon Revolution carbon fiber wheels can be serviced in the same manner as other high-end wheels. With due precautions for cosmetic damage, these wheels can be serviced using normal techniques and equipment capable of handling high-performance applications.